What's up guys, Jesse Plays here, welcome back to episode 11, City Skylines, or Let's Play City Skylines, should I say. I'm in two minds about how we're doing this, because one, I think this town and some of these houses, like these, oh, and like that, look at that balcony looking all the way over there. I think they're amazing. However, I'm in a second mind because apparently we're having a, a bit of a crisis with educated workers. I have had a look at that and it is because we've got too many people in the what's called the poorer industries make dead person transported in the poorer industries and the poor industries are of course our specialized industrial areas so we got rid of our farming which will have solved the issue a bit but we would have to get rid of more of these so that people will happily go and work in them however we're not going to do that we're going to just leave it and what we're going to do now guys is this episode is all going to be about tidying up it's probably going to be a bit of a time lapse in fact, it'll be a bit, it'll be a massive time lapse. Uh, it'll be about a good 10-15 minutes time lapse, which I hope you guys enjoy, and you can sort of just watch how I fix all these roads and all the issues that are going on. So, without further ado, let's crack straight in.
Recording. Recording on the time lapse. Alright guys, is that overkill? I think that is overkill, regardless. So what we've got here, let's have a look to see if it worked. It should do. That should not be happening still, but it is. If I change the lanes far too well, and that's the only way to do so. But that won't be an issue eventually. So let's just see how this goes. Oh yeah, let's get rid of these traffic lights. Didn't realise they were in. Let's get the correct here. Yeah, the correct ones are on there. All right, yes, there we go, that's what we needed. So people are forced to now use the main ring road going around, which is how it should be, and you are forced to go the right way. So for example, you are going out this way, which means you must be off, and you are leaving the city. You are going to the public library, which means you have joined at the correct road there. Fantastic, okay, I'm really happy with that. That doesn't need to be a junction though, really, does it? Because people are slowing down at that junction. Um. But it is, and I don't know how to get rid of that, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's classed as a junction, and there is no need for that to be a junction. So, to get rid of that, I think what we're going to have to do is just spin it and do it again. Get it straight back in there. Join that. Oh, you see, it won't even join up now. Interesting. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Really. Really did not want that to happen, so. Let's get rid of these then. All that perfect work I've just done. Get that to connect down to there. So these cars should just be going straight, which they are now. And then let's go back to the one... One lane, one way little road, apparently won't connect to this very well for some reason. So where will this connect to? Right, see I thought that would happen. That's why I was using the movement mod, you'll have noticed. Movement mods are fantastic for things like this. Because there's two junctions here, there doesn't need to be junctions there. That should just be one continuous road like this. The fact that it's not is a bit irritating, to be honest. So let's try that again. No, they're still doing it. I don't know why. So that shouldn't be like that. It should be a constant road like this is. That is a three lane road, to be fair. But maybe that's my issue. Is that three lanes either side? It is. Have I got three lanes either side all the way? No, I don't. So let's do that. At least now there's only one small junction there. So let's get this in. Space already occupied. What, all the way up till down there? Right, okay. So at least that comes up there. So let's turn that around. And then do the same on this side. Perfect, perfect. Turn that around. Uh, turn that around. So left like that. Like that. Uh, it's still gonna. It's gonna be a thing regardless. I think. I don't think that's something I'm gonna solve right now. So that only needs to be a two laner as well. This one here, which it is, straight into a three. I guess people are gonna stop. I think there's something I can do to to help them. Uh, is it that? I think that does something. I think that means go across the junction regardless. I think is what it means. Let's have a look. Clear traffic. 
toggle, despawn. Okay. So we'll just quickly use this movement mod, but we won't put too much into this because I'm aware that we've just spent a long time on it. I mean, that's it, yeah, but not really, is it? Not really. Leave it how it is. Just let it do what it needs to do. Um, is the way I think it's going to have to go. You know, let them go to the traffic they think they need to go to. In fact, there's no need to because they are the right. As long as they're not stopping too much, that's not really an issue. And then let's just sort the restrictions out really quickly. Ah, oh, maybe that's why they're also slowing down for some unknown reason. Ah, so is that mile an hour? I don't know what I've done there. Anyway, 110, 110. 110, 110. Why 50? Like, who would... Okay, that'll do. We're not slowing down to 50. Guys, come on. We're not idiots. We'll go as fast as we need to go. Slip road's fair enough that you might not want to go the full speed. Okay, so that should be it now. That should be everything I need. And I think I've sorted that. Ah, I've sorted that traffic out. Look at that. And that's all it took, just a bit of time. So obviously you'll have seen that over time lapse. Must have been pretty pretty to see. Ooh, these aren't connected. Why is that not connected to that? Because it used to be. And oh, I can connect these, I guess. So if I connect that like that, it is all repowered. Everything is connected. We've got quite a lot of dead people waiting for a hearse. All 13 hearses are in, so actually the demand for that's gone up through the roof. Which is really frustrating. So I think I'm going to have to solve that. Deceased. 49 people are dead. So let's get one of these then over and over here somewhere. Over in my new district actually. My new district can have a cemetery. So let's get that sorted now. So that could be off off this bit I think. Let's do it here where the path is. Going down there. And then just one straight line, and this is going to be my cemetery there, like that. And then also with this new district, I need fire and I need police. So let's get all that in here. There's fire, and there's police. And I also need schools. Ah, I've got my schools, don't I? Yep. So I've got my three. Schools, uh, healthcare. I've got the actual healthcare. I've just got two. So let's get another little doctor surgery in. Medical clinic, I think, is what it is or what it was. Medical clinic can also go down here. This can all be like one of my little services. Um, and then I've got my metros, don't I? Where's my metro? What? That? No, oh, they show anyway. Got my metros, so one, two, three, four. I could put another. Oh no, there's three. That's fine, there's no need. I'll just keep one over there and one over there. People can walk to that, that's not an issue. So let's just get some quick little paths in. Some paths in. And that sort of just, just like little ones like that. Little ones like that. And then just little ones which will go. So this one here will flip around, connect to that. Which will also connect that there. I built that. And then this one will go right around the back of these properties, these little uh, businesses, and connect to that bit there. Nice. And it's all about connecting everything you can, really. So, like, I would try and connect. If these businesses destroy, I'll be very upset. Can I get that just through? No, regardless of what I do, something's going down there. What if I destroy this? Nice. So that's now connected in. And this means that people just walk it easier and quite good. That's now connected. Oh, so this isn't right, okay. That's fine. And then have we got any more paths that we could do? Like we could get a path going between these. What I'm going to do guys is again put a quick time lapse in. Just me sorting out some paths.
Okay, so quite a lot of these have paths that they need. I think there's just two or three more that we'll just quickly finish up while I'm talking. And explaining why paths are really, really important on this game. People have to travel, because this game is all about people traveling, and it all happens in real time. So, for example, on some city building games, You'll have everything you need, you'll have your commercial, your residential, your industry, but nothing will happen with it. You won't physically see the people do it, or the people walking to it, or the people trying to get to it. On this game, that does happen. And I think it's really, really good in that respect. Let's have a look how this works. That can go up there, that can go up there, and that just splits onto the two. That sounds good to me. That's not needed. And that's looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good for now. So people actually walk the path that you make. And it really does make a big difference when people don't have to walk for miles. I mean, that there, they can walk. Yeah, I mean, get that path, like. Like that. Look at that, perfect. And then it means people are less likely to use cars, it means people are less likely to cross the road to walk. And if they're not crossing the road to walk, then it's really good for us. Because it means, get yeah, all that, re de zone all this. We don't want to be able to. Where are you? Going to work, and you live there, which doesn't exist anymore. Well, sorry. A few abandoned houses still, a few um, problems, but this district's going to be a mixture of high residential and low residential, and I think that's going to be quite important, and things can look quite nice as well. So we've got all our high residential up there. Oh, no water? Interesting. Let's get this water sorted. So it's really important that we get our high residential on the sort of the main roads and our low residential on these little bits here. Make it look nice and pretty. And then we're also going to put a park in around here as well. I think this area here is going to be the park actually. And I think this is going to be the nature reserve. So that'd be quite good to see. Get rid of these awful power lines as well afterwards. And then, so I've sort of explained what I've done. I've shown you guys what I've done with this area and how I've done it as well. And I think that's quite important when you learn how people do it. I've often watched videos where I see people do it and they're not explaining why they're doing it. And time lapses are great. They're really, really good fun. It means you can get more in a video as well because then you're not constantly watching, you know, the time lapses basically. Um, or you're not watching limited amounts and... It is, it's really important, but it is also really important to see how people are doing it. Let's get some high residential in and around, and some more high commercial in and around there. Just on the insides, we're not going to put anything on this outside yet. I might have to upgrade this to a two lane road, that's all. But then if I upgrade this with a two-lane road, uh, two road, I can't have residential there. Because people will... it'll be too noisy for people, basically. You don't want people to just start crying. Oh, I, I filled this, my bad. I filled this bit here with high residential, and there was no need to, because this is going to be the park. I've also filled this with commercial, no need to, because this is going to be the park. So let's get the wildlife park set up in a way that we need to get it set up, but not done so nature reserve or a zoo what about a nature reserve the only nature reserve is nicer isn't it so you got the side gates the main gates and then you'll unlock what campsites oh no let's get a zoo nature reserves for the big mountain really isn't it so first things first is we will paint a park area like this perfect so now the park area is painted we're going to put a fence around it, and then we know that this is our park area, and when we need to make it, well, or a zoo area, so when we need to make it. A bit strange that we've got it in sort of a, a highly residential and commercialized zone, but, you know, there's zoos in New York, in the middle of New York City. It's very, very understandable that it could be a thing. Although, we are going to de-zone what hasn't been built yet. What hasn't actually... All high residential that hasn't built up yet. Because if it hasn't built up, there's no need to put it down. And then it'll start spawning randomly, and we don't want that. Especially with how busy this is getting, actually. I don't know if it's worth building anymore on 
the edge. Yeah, this is getting really busy. Okay, so what we need to do is turn this yeah, to a two lane, which I didn't want to do, but I have to. Keep it for now as a, which means that up here should be a three lane really for the lane mathematics side of things. Out of city limits, I can't. So let's get, uh, okay, so let's just get that one to them too, and that one straight on. Uh, and then again, that one goes there, section. Like that, and then there should be a node there they can change, perfect. And then that's straight on, same as that. Oh, that can be straight on to them too. Oh no, wait, that wants to go there. So that'll go, and that'll go. There is a bit of crossing, and it might get, if that starts getting too busy, I'm gonna have to bring these across and turn that to a three lane, but for now I think we'll be able to survive. Just with that also being the only entrance is a bit of a worry, but I would have to build another one down here, and it would have to cross with these. But then I could always build that. Well, I, was, I could always add that to the roundabout. I might just add that as a small thing to the roundabout. I might have that coming down and join there. And if we build a big main road coming around the back and looking onto here. I'll probably will do that at some point. But for now, I think we're okay. Yeah, for now we're okay. We've got money. Money's not an issue. We're going to quickly sort out the next set of transportation for our underground metros. So, let's find commercial zones that we can stick our metros, because if you build them next to residential, they cry. They literally start crying. So we're going to have one... Is any of this on the side commercial? This is the only commercial. So we're going to have this is a commercial here. Uh, this is a, a line here. And will that connect and go around and not be an issue? Yes, it will. We're going to have another one up here somewhere, near the university, I think. So it might even be worth having it. Well, I don't know. Because this is all... So what if I put it there? Yeah, I think that'll work quite well. So that can be there. So let's get these lines connected now, So just so we know that's where they're going. Right now I need to get one more. Well, it's going to be two or three more, really, isn't it? We don't need another in the logging area, we'll need, yeah, we'll have four, so we'll have one up here and one up there. So one of these is going to be in the commercial area up here, which is going to be this one. Okay, it's not going to be one of these. That's right next to the park as well, which is quite good. Maybe one of these, slopes too steep. Okay, can it be built on that side? No, it can't. Ooh, we are stuck for choice here. It's going to have to be built here. That's fine, that is what it is. Dezone it so it doesn't try and come back. And then we're going to quickly take, have to take out a loan. Oh, I've taken out all my loans. Okay. So while we're making a bit more money, let's connect these tracks up. Oh wait, that's going to be the most expensive bit. So actually that's not going to be feasible because that's 52,000 for that one. So we'll leave them for now. <laughs> Let that do what it needs to do. Traffic is the heaviest, I mean, traffic is heavy here, but, you know, it's, there's enough. It's probably going to be worth buying this tile, shifting this back, and having another way in up here. In fact, it will be. It's definitely going to be. So what we're going to do, that's for next episode, is next episode we're going to bring this all the way back and go around. This is going to come out more, and it's going to have a junction going on there. And then there's at least two ways in and two ways out, and the junction is going to basically mirror this because there is a lot of people coming in now. There really is. I mean, you're a tourist. And there's also, I'm hoping, a lot of people using my public transport. So let's have a look. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, 400 people using my public transport. And you know what? I bet if that was three vehicles... Oh, there's only two vehicles on that, and there's more people using it. So let's uh, let's get out on four vehicles if we can. Let's get them all on four vehicles. Three, four. So get them all on four vehicles. So this one here, one, two. Okay, there's still only two. So maybe that'll take a few minutes to come in. A few minutes to implement that, I think. Um, 
What on earth is that? That was just loud. Thunder, wasn't it? So one, two, three, four, perfect. One, two, three, four, perfect. And the next one's going to be four or five, however many I can get in, really. So let's get the last metro stop in, just before this video ends. And that's going to have to go... Ooh, not really spoiled for choice. It's going to have to go in one of these ones. It slope's too steep. I'm having to keep these away from residential, really, because they crack, they complain about it far too much. They didn't complain, it wouldn't be an issue. So let's put it there. And let's dezone that. But then let's also dezone these. And turn these into high areas like that. Dezone that did so that one. Let's get the same done with all of these actually. Because you can we, we can utilize all the back we haven't utilized yet. So these are what level four, level four, level. Four. These are good levels, or level three. These are high value levels. But gotta do what we gotta do. So they're gonna go down. That's gonna happen. I think we've got our yeah, we're four in. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna loop that into there, round and round again. Probably cost us a hundred thousand or so. But then that will be our metro lines complete, and that will be all our areas are connected by metros. And it means people should not now be walking on that main one they're not they should be walking on these paths wow look how busy that is they're going straight out that one straight across and straight into that one. perfect that's exactly what i need you've got some people still walking on these but where are these walking to going to elder care so you're just walking down there so that's okay that's acceptable i forgot we had elder care in and we do have another cemetery as well i forgot about that nice 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 i'm quite happy with how this is turning out then i need the name guys for the smith district Next episode, we're going to put this in. And that'll be nice. That'll be good. These aren't an issue. These are actually working now. These need more and more materials still, so... It's because these are on bloody export mode. And these are all exporting as well. Everyone's exporting. There's nothing I can do about that. I wish you could put ban on importing. That's what I need. These are looking nice. Has this been sorted over here yet then? Yeah, these are slowly building. Building when demand's there. That's that's kind of what it is, isn't it? So let's connect. Can I connect these lines at least? Not enough money yet. 26,000, that cost minimum. That's if I want to have it rubbish. Right, so we'll leave this here. And what I'm going to do is just let this play after this episode. It's fitting that that's there. Oi, oh. Why we... Right, that needs to be a three lane now. Because I've seen it, it has to happen. In fact, I think most of these should be three lane. I think this whole area really ought to be three. Just to hold the vast amount of traffic that's coming through. And for all the turn-offs as well. Like... Look at that, that's perfect. That. Although... Actually, no. Get them back to two. Get them back to two. That's just going to cause more problems than it's solving, I think, right now. Uh, and then with this, you can turn into there, so B2. Or you can come out to that one if you so need to. Yeah, that's always just going to be a bit of an issue spot, but you know what? Nothing I can do about that. We'll leave it to it. Alright guys, if there's anything you want me to do, anything you want me to improve, do let me know. I'm really happy with how that's turned out. I love how that comes down. It's going to come down even further, it's actually going to come down around there. All that's going to be shifted across. That will happen before or during next episode. Um, Just need more visitors for that level. That's level 5, can't go up anymore, I don't think. Nope. And then this has got the entertainment, just needs more visitors. But there are visitors coming in. These are making a killing. Our forestry area isn't actually making much money. See, that's only got 600 workers out of the 750 required. Interesting. I could probably move these two in there. No, we're going to leave it. We've got 
look at this, we've got paths that everybody's using. People are walking down there using that path. People all, I'm hoping, using this path. There are not too many. I'll get another path, I think, going across there as well, actually. That's probably the path people are most likely to use. And then I'll end the episode there, I promise. I'm aware that this has, this has probably gone on just a bit longer than it usually does. Let's get this to go down there. And then we'll fence off this just for a bit of aesthetic reasons, really, more than anything. If you can hear all them ting tings, that's um, all the levels up that are happening. So anything with a green, which is most likely to happen here, to be honest, it means they've leveled up. See, look how derelict this all looks compared to all these, but it will sort itself, it sort itself out. These are all starting to build in, I think, now. Yeah, in fact, they've all built in. Perfect. Happy with that. Got some offices here, which is good. They're starting to look nice as well. I'm happy with it, right, guys? I will leave it there, I promise. Uh, thank you so much. For watching this is turning out to be beautiful next episode we're going to put a little area here and we're going to do something with this and sort out the roads again as always as we always end up doing but yeah any suggestions guys obviously just do let me know okay it's not fair. any suggestions do let me know and i will be sure to solve them when i can All right. You all ought to be changing lanes now, guys. Or are you all going into the right? No, you're not. But the half and half thing. People are walking across it. There's people are walking. Right, that's an issue for the next time. Right, thank you very much, guys. See you in the next episode.